Morning, everybody. How are we doing? Thank you all for being here today. Uh, I want to acknowledge that uh, it is National Vietnam Veterans Day, which makes this really a, a good day to do what we're doing today, to honor our city employees who make the sacrifice that comes along with active duty military service. Jacksonville is a proud military town. We can't say it enough. Where one in four of us is connected to a military service member or veteran, one in four. We take our commitment to them very seriously, and the Jacksonville Heroes Act is another big step we are taking to live up to that responsibility. This first of its kind legislation will ensure our 40 active duty city employees will be better compensated when they are deployed, and our employees and military families will have the time to take care of loved ones when their spouse is on duty. I love seeing Jacksonville leading the way on things like this for our entire country. I want to thank Councilman Diamond for serving in the Army and for listening to fellow soldiers and understanding the impact that deployment has on their families and for channeling those experiences into this important legislation. Thank you for doing that. I also, yes. I also want to thank Council President Salem for his strong support of military and veteran families. You'll get to hear from both of them in just a few moments. This is also a perfect time to recognize council members Arias, Clark Murray, Howland, Lanin, Miller, and Peluso for their service to our country. They wholeheartedly supported this bill, as did the entire council. So let's give them a big hand as well. I'm grateful for Harrison Conyers and his entire team at the Military and Veterans Affairs Department. Harrison would be with us today, only he is, he is at another event reading a proclamation for, for uh, National Vietnam Veterans Day, so that's why he's not with us this morning. But we are proud to increase their budget this fiscal year because they're doing such incredible work for us. They really are doing a great job. Together we have held dozens of outreach events, pulled in $1.6 million in state grants, opened a drive through and free grocery store at Mayport, and placed 100 vets per year in a job or a home with an 85% success rate. We've also started the process to build a veteran community center and launch a marketing campaign to connect veterans to city resources. There are a lot of city resources that our veterans need to be aware of, and we want to make sure they are. So I'm really proud to take this next step by signing the Jacksonville Heroes Act. Our service members and veterans are an important part of the beautiful mosaic that is Jacksonville. And we really always want to support them in every way we possibly can, and we want to continue to be the most military-friendly city in America. That's always our goal, and this just moves us further down that path. Now I would like to welcome Council President Salem for a few remarks. some of the pressure on their families. Their dedication and bravery in protecting our nation is not taken lightly, and acknowledging their positive contributions is just one way we can honor them. And the critical role active duty service members play ensuring our nation is safe. The oath to protect and serve our nation requires that at any moment, they put themselves in harm's way as in the case for why we are here today. I support the efforts of Councilmember Diamond and his legislation to strengthen our military families while serving our country, and I appreciate Mayor Deegan for signing this into law today. On behalf of 
Jack Jacksonville City Council. And thank you very much. Can we fix the microphone before they begin? You know, I don't know what's happening, but this happened yesterday too, and we had another event, so I'm not sure we don't have a short there. Uh, is it okay? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mayor Deegan. Thank you, uh, Council President uh, Salem. Thank you to my colleagues who are here. And thank you to all the heroes in the room. Look around, first responders, veterans, and active duty. So thank you all. Give them a round of applause, please. Uh, I love that we're signing this, Madam Mayor, on Vietnam Veterans Day because I think everybody knows that we failed our Vietnam veterans. And I think as a nation, we realize that we have to treat our veterans much better than we did after Vietnam. And we course correct it. We do a much better job today than we did in 1980, 81, 82, 83. And the veteran suicide crisis that came out of the Vietnam uh, veteran era is now something we're still dealing with, but we are doing so much better. But we have a gap in how we treat our active duty and our guardsmen and women and our reservists, especially when they're deployed and what their families are going through. And I had no idea. I have to admit, I was just completely ignorant of this. And then I got deployed. I was in a, literally in a tent in the dirt in the middle of Saudi Arabia, and you're this close to people right next to you, and you're hearing these kids, they're 22, they're 23, they've got families at home, and you hear them on FaceTime on their phones, and you hear the struggles that they're going through, and you hear that they can't pay for their families. That can't be true in America. So I literally told them in a way that you're like, oh yeah, here's a politician next to me in the tent. <laughs> Um, that I will do something about this when I get home. I will, I will make a statement here where we can do something. And we, so we filed the Jacksonville Heroes Act, which expands from 30 days to 90 days how long we pay our uh, deployed service members, uh, uh, men and women, who are our employees, but also eight hours of flex time for their spouses when they're deployed. No city in America is doing that. Almost no employer in America is doing that. So I would use this moment as not just an opportunity for us to say this is awesome for Jacksonville and our military families, but to say, Everybody else needs to do this too. We need to challenge every mayor in America to do the same. We need to challenge every big employer here in Jacksonville to do the same. So let this not be an end, a signature, and the, and the story is over, but really just the 10th page of the first chapter of changing how we treat our military families. I do wanna give a shout out to my friend, Nick Howland, who is uh, doing fire watch work over in Pinellas County. He really wanted to be here. He loves this bill. He was a co-sponsor, and I just wanna say thank you. He wanted to uh, also underscore his support this morning. But uh, you know, Mad Mayor, when you sign this, we will kick this off, and it's a, it's one day, it's one start. But the good thing is that Jacksonville, as you said, is leading the way. So thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Uh, why don't we Why don't we sign the bill, and uh, and and then I'll let everybody go. And if you want to ask me more questions, you're certainly welcome to. Welcome to go or stay, whatever you want to do.